And on third and one, he's going to put it up for the first time today. He finds Cruz, and he's got a first down. Now Dysert with Spencer Treadwell lined up behind him in the backfield. He's going to swing it out to Harwell. Harwell trying to make a man miss, and he does, and he's down the far sideline. And knocks off Ingle, Wells, and Fisher. Second and five, going to swing it out. This is Andy Cruz. And University defense. Play action. He's looking deep for Harwell, and now he goes underneath, and it's broken up. Nice defensive play there. The redshirt freshman corner from Omaha, Nebraska. Nice job by the offensive line here. Look at the time. Now that look at the time they give Dysert one, and then they allow him to step up in the pocket to, to the right. Late clock running out here. He just does get it off in time. He's got a room to run. He takes off, and he's going to dive for the first down. Fresh set of downs for the Red Hawks as we're under 10 minutes to go here in the first quarter. And now Dyser wanted Scott, but Scott was covered very closely to drive a line. Dyser play action. Looking for Harwell, a little too tall for him, and it's incomplete. He got a hand on it. Bobcat defense playing out of third and 12 on this. All right, they're defending the sticks. Watch the white shirts. They come up from the sticks there. That ball's short of the first down, even if that's caught by Harwell. You'll see it here. Good look right there. They come up and make the play short of the first down. Checking with the line of scrimmage. He's going deep. Oh, no. It's caught. It'll be a touchdown as Harwell pulls it in. Off of Nick Harwell. Uh, he just, Nick Harwell just matches up really well against Ohio. You see the nice seam route there. Catches the safety sleeping. Ball's beautifully thrown right on stride. For Grew up just uh, 20 miles from Findlay, Ohio, where Roethlisberger played high school football. Said Big Ben was really his his idol, the guy he looked up to as the tight end. Don't worry about anything. If the play's done, it's gone. It's forgotten. Dicer. Plants and fires a strike to Harwell up at about the 39 yard. Defensive line has been riddled with injuries, so you'll see a lot of guys coming up. But for the most part, he's thrown the ball from his spot on time. They get pressure this time. Flush him out of the pocket. He whips it downfield, and it's caught! They want Scott inside the 20 and taken down at about this. But if this doesn't look like Ben Roethlisberger, I don't know what does. Extends the play, throws the ball with a right-handed quarterback, or going to the left. That's just a great, that's great vision downfield, wanting to make a play. Wow, that is something else right there. He's pushed out, so the first down with Treadwell in the backfield flanking. Dicer, he throws for the end zone and a little bit behind Harwell. He was reaching. But Harwell can't twist that body around enough to get both hands on it, come down with that catch. In the slot. The motion man is the tight end. And now Dicer going to throw back across the formation. Oh, it's a touchdown. It would have been a touchdown if he holds on to the turf and red shirts. Just a great call by Coach Treadwell and his staff. Sending Dicer half roll to the right and Treadwell. He's trying to run with the football before he catches it. But like as you mentioned, watch all the green turf in front of him. Got a couple offensive linemen out there. You're very proficient so far here today. Dicer had it tipped at the line of scrimmage. In the passing game here, great timing, good vision by the defensive lineman on that, getting the hand up, knocking it down. Carl Jones, the Arlington. Dicer, all day to throw. He's going to tuck it and take off. He'll pick up a couple of yards before he's forced out. Dicer looking underneath. Had a man wide open, but the ball was knocked down. Trying to get a play. Well, they're going to get a playoff here, working with the win. Third and ten. Underneath he goes to Cruz, and good defensive coverage there. His quarterbacks are chucking it all down the field. A lot of these throws are very short throws, almost an extension of the running game. This is a long one, though. Deep for Scott. He's got it. It's a touchdown for Miami. No, they'll mark him down inside the one. Well, you see it. And again, great protection right here. And then Dyser recognizes that. He's really got left which on his back, Scott does. He's got great position, goes up and catches that ball. It's highest point. That's a nice route by Scott on that. That Catch. might be a touchdown if they take another look at it. Let's see. And they are going to review it. Knees down. Ball was very close to the goal line. Russell in the backfield along with Dicer, who wants to throw. And over the middle, he's got Harwell up at the 43-yard line. It's a big play. He's been able to find Harwell. And Harwell does a great job running routes. You talk about great route run. Pressure coming, and the ball too tall for the tight end receivers. 
Dysart has already found a number of them running free and easy in that secondary today. Looking down the field, nowhere to go with it. He'll tuck it, and he'll get one-on-one -on -one to the quarterback's left. Three, tight, uh, three receivers, a tight end. And Dysart going with that safe route, but it's incomplete. He was looking for it. Can't afford turnover. Dysart surveys the field. Underneath he goes. Smart. And a big gainer. Yeah, Steve Mark the tight end. Yeah, well, well run route by Mark on this. It's working underneath, just driving everybody off, getting inside the linebackers on that or underneath the linebackers. That's a nice run after. Clock stop, just under two minutes to go. Against Harwell, and Harwell's in as much ground as you can. You never know when those extra two yards are going to make a difference. Harwell scored the game's first touchdown. This is. Mark the tight end with his second catch on the. It's inside of you now, just by his body position. He's got the advantage. Dicer taking his time, very patient. He has good protection. Throws it down the field, wide open is Harwell down to the 22. Trying to continue to attack. Dicer looking, pump bait, going to the end zone, but good defensive coverage. High speed. You got to be physical. Now that might be a little bit beyond, you know, the realm there of what's allowable, but he gets away. They rush four. Dysert steps up and he threw it behind Steve Mark, the tight end. Dysert dumps it underneath and it's caught by Cruz inside the 10 down to a pop. Dysert looking for Harwell and it's knocked away incomplete. Had a chance to pull this in. Take a look at it. Touch pass over the top of the defender. Bam, coming in. Bam, that's a pass breakup right there. That's a touchdown if Fisher doesn't break that up. He's got it one foot down, two feet down. Yeah, he would have had a touchdown, but he couldn't. And Dysart steps up under pressure, nowhere to go with the football. Looks to the back of the end zone, and it's intercepted. And a great defensive stand by. And they deny the Red Hawks here late in the first half. Again, Zach Dyson trying to make a play on the run like he's done so many times in this first half. This time he goes to the well once too often, comes up with an interception at the worst possible time, taking points off the board, or what could be points off the board for Miami. So, certainly he'll look to improve upon his first half numbers here in the third quarter, and his first pass is right on the... You want to eliminate those, those yak yards. Third down and three, and Dyson going to swing it. Harwell can't get away. Bass brings him down. And it's great that a dad can be there to help him along with that. Now Dysert finds Daywan Scott who took a big hit. And he was, was he down or not? I don't, I thought they initially ruled him. And I'm certainly, I'm certain they have that relationship. Third and short, and they're going to throw it. And Dysert's going for all of it. And Harwell couldn't come up with the play. Good want to run for it. Both try to go through the air. Both come up empty on consecutive possessions as Bass was there defensively to get a hand in and just pull it away from Harwell. Well, Dysart on the keeper. And he's got the first down out to the 30 seconds to go now in the third quarter. Miami with the lead with the ball. Dysart swings it out here to Luke Swift. And he's still on his feet out to the 18 out of 32 for 282 yards and a touchdown. And he's looking over the middle and he's got a man. It's Andy Cruz. Miami is Dicer. Tries to keep the drive alive. Nobody downfield open. He scrambles. Stays on his feet and he's dragged down. It'll be a sack. Yeah, he's, he's done a doing terrific what he's job. doing there. And again, it started with defense. All right, Dicer under pressure. He'll go down. Tyler Brand's getting in there and just wrapped him up. You see Wynn drawing the double team. And Brands just had to beat one man. And that's what happens when you third down. And eight. Dicer play action. Looking deep. Going for Cruz into double coverage, and it's incomplete. That. Now Ian Wells does a nice job under uh, 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 on the coverage underneath here on Cruz. Watch Ian Wells show up right there. Good body twist. You see him turn those hips. He flips those hips. He gets himself back to the receiver and then makes a play on that football. Beavers. And Treadwell the setback. Dicer goes over the middle for Harwell. He's got it at the 45 to 50. And down into Miami or into a monster catch on that third down. Again, catching a man-to-man -man coverage. They go with the slant route. Harwell working one-on-one. -on -one. 
you know, they